right, we are back. Let's pop into, I guess, this one. I don't know. Dungeon style five. Of course, I'm doing them backwards. Uh, kitty, kitty. Help. That felt like something that a cat would be in. <laughs> oh, there's a little skeleton cat. Oh, there's the one right up there. Okay, now we just got one more hidden one. That one was a, this one was a little easy, or else I'm more awake. And then what? Nope, alright, alright, you can stop yelling at me. Vampire cat. Skeleton cat, mommy cat. Skeleton cat. Mommy cat. Ooh, look at the little ghost cat. Okay, um, how many cats are in this castle? There's a children's book. Also, oops, oh, sorry. Uh, also called A Castle Full of Cats. I should find that and we all read that as I'm uh, doing this. The chicken leg. Interesting. Uh, okay. Oop, little mummy cat. Okay. Find the hidden cats. Up. Oh. That cup. That cup. Um. Cat hiding. Boy, this is a barn. Uh, a ball of yarn. Um, I would have almost said the bucket, but a little cat that's in that. Um. Nothing is striking me as a place that a cat would hide. Not hiding behind the skeleton bones. Let's back out of that. Okay, we'll go into this one and come back to that one. Dire Maiden. <laughs> little cat right there with little hands up. <laughs> yeah, right there. Oh, there's there. There's the bat cat. Okay, so now we got two hiding. <laughs> the almost then rope with the guillotine. Oh, I bet those are the keys that I need. I wonder if there's more keys hiding in me that I didn't know about. Oh, 
little sleeping cat. Three hidden cats. Looks like a litter box to me. Hiding in the skull, are you? There we go, playing with the ball of yarn. Should have known. Okay, done. Alright, so is there. I'm looking for a hidden key. That first key, I actually don't even remember where I found it. I don't think I found it in the tundra. I found it elsewhere. I'm not seeing a key. Here. Yes, let's back up and see what other door open. So four more cats and four hidden. This banister up here seems like it went a long ways without finding hidden. Spider, I think I saw that spider the last time. There we go. Oop, there's one right there. This is an umbrella stand, but if you look, they look very wiggly to be an umbrella. So, huh? Be hidden. Normal. Nothing in those pictures. They're all normal. And with a candlestick. I just know. I know. I feel you. You're yelling at the computer screen right now, or even using that tone going, how is she so blind? I hear you. And you're not wrong in your questioning. Blind. Uh, I ask that question to myself all the time, even outside of this game. <laughs> how have I survived all of this? Hiding there, no cat hiding off the tapestry. Kitty's hiding in plants. I feel like this banister should definitely have more cats. But... Oh! I keep thinking there should be one hiding in here. Oh, there's one.
Okay, let's move on. We'll, we'll come back. The laboratory. Because he's in the tube, he's getting a little squeaky now. <laughs> I'm liking the Egyptian. so sneaky. I wouldn't have thought of it. I just was like, well, we'll just take a chance. of keys serve no purpose. a lot harder to see the one on the edges. Do you think it'd be the opposite? What? Like when you try to pull off to the side, the camera bounces you back just a smidge, enough that it's hard to see. Don't shop. So, for a person who loves cats, uh, it, like cats like this, um, I'm highly allergic to them. And I also, as a child, had a very terrifying experience with um, uh, feral cats. I grew up not knowing that there was a difference between feral cats and regular cats. And so I spent most of my adult life, or I shouldn't say life, most of my teenage life being terrified of cats. I wanted nothing to do with them. It wasn't until I was older that I stopped being so afraid of them. But that said, I am still horribly allergic to them. Like uh, puffy eyes, anaphylactic shock type of allergic. Uh, it's really bad. It is really, really bad. Where are you hiding? Oh, there we go. I, like, I thought that looked like a place that a cat would hide in. Okay, one more hidden and four more regulars. How would I get for doing story time? There's one. What are you doing, kitty? Why are you practicing your pole dancing moves? Gotta make the money somehow to go to college. Oops, there's one. As I was saying, let's check our corners. The 
that's where I always mess up. I get a cat face right there, but that doesn't count. this Jax, uh, where is it, right here? I don't know if you guys, if it's a game that this generation's familiar with, but as a kid there was a, a game of Jax that you would have where you would have these little metal pronged things uh, that were Jax shaped just like this, and then there was a bouncy ball, and I'm actually, I have to admit, I don't remember what the rules are, like, you throw the ball and at some point you get the, you try to grab as many Jax off the floor as you can play. And I remember there was this complete stranger of a girl in elementary school. Uh, and uh, no one ever wanted to play jacks with her, but she was just fascinated with it. And so I was like, all right, I'll play. I don't know how to play, but I'll play. And uh, in one scoop, she picked up all the jacks. And I was like, well, that wasn't much of a game for me. <laughs> it was for her, but not for me. But I let her keep playing. And I didn't care. She seemed so excited to play. I don't remember if I, I doubt I was doing anything interesting that day. I was the type of kid that if they let me, I would find a quiet corner and read a book. Yes, I was that kid. And I think back to it. I think back to all the adults that were like, you can't do that. And I know as the adult me is like, why couldn't I? I wasn't causing any troubles. I was being very quiet. No, you were like, no, you had to go out and play on the swing set where you can crack your head open. It seemed very silly to me. I'm not being this last cat. Alright, we got that one, so now we'll use our bowl. Last one. Oh. It was sneaky. Okay, the laboratory is done. to the main hall. Get through it all. There we go. Now we can go into here. In the tear. Ducky. Oh. And we got our third key. Giovanni. I really enjoy staying out here. I miss my Aunt Judy. She's under here now. Ah. Oh, we found a baby. Seven and two. Uh, 
seven and or five and two. Do not care. There's one. <laughs> oh, he got a little parachute. See any other? Okay. None would be hiding behind the clouds, would they? That wouldn't be something the game would do, would it? It opened, but I don't. I didn't actually see a cam. I don't know what that did. Oh, there's a little. Yeah. Oh, it did it. Oh, we don't know. Did it increase the number? our crystal ball for the last one. There you go. Alright, cemetery is done. Oh, underground corridor. Creepy. Starting up here. For such a sim simply drawn game, it's actually really adorable. hidden ones for the first time. Or are they all hidden? <laughs> 22. Uh... Oh, found another baby. I got the message. Kitty plus power equals evil kitty plus no. Oh, hey, what are you doing? I can take you across these waters. Just bring me a snack from the pantry. Here's the key. I keep it locked because I don't trust Fofino. And I know that there's no hiding cats, but still. Just to find one more and then we can use the use the globe to find the other. So I'm hiding right there. Alright, we'll use our crystal ball for the last one. Okay. Underground corridor. Mirror passage. Mm -mm. Oh, it's 
it's cute. Mirror, mirror. All right, we got our last uh, pink key. We found a baby. More babies to go. One more to go. We can use our magic or magic ball. Done in here. Um, the laboratory. Back out. Over here. Oh, look at the cats playing with Mama. It was this one that had her. She wanted a snack from uh, the pantry. travel to the underground corridor. Dang. Hey, it's scrumptious. Okay, then I'm taking you as promised. Hop on. The sewers. Aww. Okay. I am the guardian of this castle, but everyone thinks I am a monster. Cthulhu. We got one more key to get, or uh, another key to get. Okay. Yeah. The bedroom. All right. I will continue on with this in the next video. Thank you guys for keeping me company. I appreciate it.